Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to Kali.org, and you're going to go to Get Kali, and we're going to run it as a virtual machine, so that way you don't need to change your actual operating system. You'll download the installer images, or it's a .iso file, and you'll click right here, and then you'll just click this download button, and the download will start. I've already downloaded it, so it'll save us some time there. And I'm pressing Control Alt T to open the terminal. So what I'm going to do now is I would type sudo apt git install virtualbox. Enter your password. However, I already have the uh, virtualbox already installed so I don't need to. If you don't have VirtualBox installed, um, just if, if you're on Windows, you can just Google VirtualBox download and it's pretty easy to follow from there. But once you have VirtualBox installed, uh, we'll just go ahead and run it. If you're on Windows, you'll just you know run it like a normal application. If you're on Linux, you can just type it in or I don't, I don't know, like find it somewhere. And so now we're going to do a new machine, and its name is going to be Kali Linux. And it'll actually, like, kind of, if, like, let's say we put in Ubuntu, it'll know what you're going for. Kali Linux. And I downloaded the 62 bit version, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and select that. And if you see the 2.6, 3.x, 4.x, that's the kernel. And for our intents and purposes right now, this will work just fine. Uh, memory size, I'm going to do 2048. You can do less or more. I mean, I mean, the, the default size that they give you will work just fine. But if you're running something like in-map and it's taking a while, it, it helps a little bit to have this set to 2048. Uh, yes, create a virtual hard disk now, and you can make this bigger, um, especially with Kali Linux. I think it's like a almost four gigabyte ISO file. You'll probably want to, but uh, the default settings work great. They're really not a problem. I mean, I haven't ran into an issue with them at all. And I'm going to go ahead and make it 16. You, Some people make it more, but like we're, we're not really going to be... In, Kali Linux already has everything you're going to need, so we won't really need to install anything new. It, for the most part, okay? There, there are some things where you will. So now that we've gone through that, we're going to right-click and click Settings storage controller ide and this is where we are going to select our iso file we're going to choose that one click ok and then we're going to click start and i'll say graphic install 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 with speech synthesis we're just going to click graphic install and if you're in VirtualBox, you can just press control alt and you can get your mouse back okay yes i want to speak english Yes, I'm in the U.S., American English. I might have to edit some of this. As a matter of fact, I know that I'll have to edit some of the installation stuff out. But it's pretty straightforward if you just follow along. Um, if you, let's say that you just wanted to, uh, let's say that you just wanted to, uh, run the virtual machine without actually installing it instead of downloading the ISO file 
you would download the uh, .vdi file, a uh, VirtualBox snapshot. And, you know, while this is doing its thing, I guess I can take some time to show you all something. So let's say we, uh, if you notice this, I can't use this terminal anymore. Let's say I wanted to run a command and still be able to use the terminal. Um, I'm really not sure what an application I could open is, so let's find one. Uh, yeah, LibreOffice. So, just use the default settings. Uh, LibreOffice, if we type and at the end of it, you can still continue to use the terminal even after opening that up. The name for me is going to be Sleepy Machine because I am sleepy. No, a machine. And this part I'm probably going to edit out. I'm going to click Guided Use Entire Disk. And then I'm going to select the disk. It, there should only be one. And yes, you will want all files in one partition. Partitioning disks, at least for me, was kind of complicated. But uh, I'll go ahead and get back with you guys once the actual install is done. It might take a little bit, so I'll just edit this whole part out. And so this part right here might come up. It's really up to, uh, like, user pref user preface preference oh my bad i like to use xfce because it it seems like it's the the least hardware required i guess uh gnome and kde they're uh they're a little bit more fancier so xfce kind of works better for virtual machines if you don't know what those are, they're uh, desktop environments, and they uh, it's basically like how your operating system looks. You know, like the little window button widgets and the start bar, stuff like that. That's the desktop environment. Alright, so we're back, and now at the end of the installation, it's going to ask you if, if you want to install Grub. Grub is basically the thing where, uh, like what we saw at the beginning of the installation, where you select what type of boot up you want to do. I always like to install Grub. Um, I'm not going to enter the device manually. We're just going to select the slash dev slash SDA folder. And as soon as this is done installing, it'll start wrapping up. And uh, I'll get back to you whenever everything's done. All right, and so we're back and the installation is complete and everything is done so now we just need to click continue and we'll wrap everything up and then it'll restart and once it restarts this is the uh, grub bootloader just press enter if we don't do anything it'll just choose the uh, default after like I think five seconds and as we can see Kali Linux is gonna start to boot up and here we go. And after we've got our username and password typed in, Kali Linux will uh, start booting up. And this is the XFCE interface that I was talking about, the way the uh, desktop looks. And then we can start using all the different tools that are in there. All right. Well, uh, thank you all for watching. And I will uh, see you guys later.